Although Yuji Itadori is severely underpowered compared to Jujutsu Kaisen's strongest sorcerers, he's still one of the most unique fighters in the history of JJK. As revealed shortly after the conclusion of the Shibuya incident, Kenjaku was heavily involved in Yuji's birth. The specifics of Kenjaku's experiments on Yuji are unknown, but they've repeatedly been linked to the heinous research that he also conducted on the Cursed Womb death paintings many years before. Choso, the sole surviving death painting, even thinks of Yuji as his brother, which is why many fans believe that this group of characters may play a major role in Yuji's growth moving forward. There are still six cursed womb death paintings that are unaccounted for, and as stated in one of Jujutsu Kaisen's official guidebooks, if Yuji consumed these dormant death paintings, it would have a similar effect to eating Sukuna's fingers, thereby increasing his amount of cursed energy. Until Chapter 220 of Jujutsu Kaisen, there was no reason to think that Yuji had consumed these death paintings yet. During this chapter, the former host of Sukuna states that he'll eat anything to grow stronger, and only a few pages later he has a conversation with Choso in which the cursed womb death painting says that the six dormant death paintings will live on inside his brother. While this is by no means direct confirmation that Yuji has already eaten Kenjaku's creations, it does open up a wide range of possibilities for his growth as a sorcerer. Unfortunately, even if Yuji did consume the death paintings, it's not exactly clear how it would affect his abilities as a fighter, as there's no established precedent for consuming special grade cursed objects. That said, this does potentially hint toward Yuji manifesting a cursed technique that is related to his parents', one of which has been established to be anti-gravity. Another, even more probable option, is that Yuji experiences a power-up relating to a different character, Sukuna. Satoru Gojo mentions early in Jujutsu Kaisen's narrative that Yuji could potentially develop a cursed technique because of his status as Sukuna's host. Whether this manifests as Sukuna's cleave and dismantle techniques, his malevolent shrine domain expansion, or the mysterious ability that he utilizes in his fight against Jogo remains to be seen. And there you have it, JJK's Yuji Itadori finally gets a major but unexpected power-up. Did you see it coming? Tell us in the comments section below, and be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons so you don't miss any cursed comic content.